Uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for this invitation. And um, uh, thank you for CCG, Mabel and Henry, uh, for uh, setting up this format uh, of uh, good uh, exchange. Uh, I find it rather difficult uh, to be very optimistic when uh, looking uh, into the uh, year uh, that has just begun. But I was in the car driving here trying to figure out what like, very positive I could say. And uh, in our bilateral uh, Estonia-China relationship, I'd like to mention two amazing things that I to be honest, only discovered uh, last uh, year. Um, you know, in 2007 or eight, and this is about the environment, in Estonia, uh, a volunteer movement started called um, Clean Up, Clean Up Day, where volunteers would gather in an organized, nationally coordinated manner. Uh, and they started cleaning up waste from different parts of the country. On a Sunday, volunteer bases, friends, colleagues, uh, uh, would jointly go together, do something good. Uh, very quickly, uh, this movement gained popularity and spread to uh, our Scandinavian neighbors and uh, Latvia, Lithuania. From there on, it grew bigger. Uh, it is now a movement where more than um, 180 countries participate. And in China, uh, there is an NGO in Shanghai uh, they coordinated last year, they organized 250,000 people to participate in all the clean actions around China. Um, thousands and thousands of tons of waste and rubbish was collected. And it is only the beginning. I went to their uh, annual conference in um, uh, at the end of uh, December, and their plans are super ambitious. Uh, so maybe I hope we can, uh, as ambassadors, also uh, participate uh, at some point in this. And I'm so proud. This, this, all this uh, originates actually uh, back in my own country, Estonia. And the United Nations said, you must hear, yeah, made it the World Cleanup Day. It's now an official UN day. I think it's 20th of uh, September uh, every, uh, every year. Uh, so an annual this sort of day where focus on environment is, uh, is the... Is the that's the focus, environment and uh, world. Uh, so uh, that's really positive. Uh, I don't know how many of you have heard of Robotex. Robotex is a youth uh, um, a sort of technological challenge where kids of all ages build uh, robots and then they compete with the robots. In China, it's, it, it again comes from Estonia. Uh, it is huge. This weekend I'm going to open the Robotex Asia Games uh, in Shanghai, 30,000 participants. And they do regional ones with 10,000 people. This one is 30,000. So we have some super good uh, uh, things that are happening uh, by, you know, bilaterally, at least they, they began uh, in, uh, in Estonia. They um, now have really well uh, taken root in um, in China, so this is on a positive side. Now, uh, international uh, affairs and um, and um, and challenges. Uh, and again, I say I, I wish I could be more optimistic, but um, in my view, I think we are really navigating one of the most uh, complex and uh, difficult periods uh, in in history at the moment. And uh, geopolitical tensions are at are very high, and I think on the increase. There are, of course, uh, several very important uh, political uh, events uh, taking place this year, which could, of course, add to the current level of uh, tensions. Um, the adverse effects that were already referred to, such as the food insecurity or uh, disruptions in the energy uh, security, they really affect almost everyone uh, um, uh, globally. And I have a feeling um, that sort of yesterday's bad news are just overtaking by today's uh, bad news, but issues uh, are often, or they remain, 
uh, unresolved and uh, justice uh, you know is not or at least has not yet uh, been achieved and uh, of course you know that I'll be talking about Russia's uh, war of aggression on uh, Ukraine and I echo uh, with uh, with the uh, previous uh, uh, speaker that I don't think um, in our host country uh, the um, the decision making uh, levels really appreciate the seriousness of how we uh, view uh, in Europe but also in many other parts of the world uh, this uh, this uh, issue and um, it's not a secret uh, we don't see eye to eye on this uh, issue um, he, and of course when we uh, hear and read that um, China's relationship with the aggressor nation, Russia, is at its all historic height. Of course, uh, we, we must appreciate how serious, how seriously it will continue to affect adversely our relationship until, of course, these issues are, uh, are uh, uh, settled meaning that Ukraine has regained its territorial integrity and those responsible for war crimes are brought to uh, justice. And I'm also um, from a very small country. And uh, for us, the issue of international law is uh, existential. Uh, it must prevail and it must be proactively upheld. I don't know, of, of how, uh, I don't know how many of you have uh, heard but in Estonia, the government uh, in December last year actually decided to commit at least 0.25% of GDP to support Ukraine in coming years uh, militarily alone. We have a lot of other uh, projects uh, in Ukraine, but, uh, but uh, we do hope that other nations will uh, join us. It's actually, if you calculate, a very small amount to pay uh, if we collectively did it. And we would help uh, Ukraine to uh, to win this. So I'm afraid uh, this issue uh, will continue to affect the uh, relationship with China also uh, until the aggression ends. And we have expressed this issue, uh, this view, on so countless occasions when uh, meeting our Chinese uh, counterparts at every level, meaning also the highest uh, possible uh, level. And quite a bit of trust has been lost uh, in this process, unfortunately, um, which will take time to uh, rebuild. Um, we support uh, and are fully behind uh, President Zelensky's 10-point 10, 10 uh, uh, peace plan. And so I hope that looking into the future that uh, more countries are coming to see that this is really the only uh, way to resolve the current um, uh, current situation, um, and as been already mentioned before, of course, the new, really serious conflict happening in uh, taking place, or only developing in the Middle East uh, also, of course, cannot be discounted. It has potential to flare even further. So we, I see a lot of polarization, um, which, uh, which uh, is not really good. Uh, for the uh, future, but our job as a diplomat and, and uh, also, uh, you know, like think tanks like this one are, of course, supremely important as venues where we can express these views and, and also publish uh, these views. So I want to thank the organizers uh, again. And in Estonia, we have a saying, sometimes it must get worse before it gets better. So I hope that the worst is soon there and soon it will get better. So Happy New Year. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you.